friends, so we're here today. I'm going to be talking to you all about self-improvement, which is one of my favorite topics on the channel here. And today specifically, I'm going to be talking to you about how to incorporate self-improvement ideas, tasks, concepts into your life after you have read the books because we can all feel super inspired but also not know exactly where to start so i'm going to be sharing five books with you today and how i've incorporated little bits and pieces of them into my life so let's get started all right so to start this video off i just want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by blinkist Blinkist is my favorite app on my phone as it allows me to either read or listen to self-improvement content of over 2,500 books in 15 minutes or less. So in the amount of time that it takes you to eat breakfast, you can have already absorbed the key points and summaries of amazing best-selling books from across the world. It is truly a fantastic app and all of the books I'm going to be sharing with you today are all available on Blinkist. And my friends there have been kind enough to offer you all a seven day free trial. So go ahead and click the link down below to get started on that. But more on Blinkist a little bit later, let's hop right into the self-improvement stuff. If you're a little bit of a self-improvement junkie like myself, you can absorb so much content, whether it be in self-improvement business, spirituality, law of attraction. There's so much to choose from. There's such a variety. And the way that I like to look at self-improvement and self-improvement knowledge is kind of like a buffet. So imagine yourself going out to dinner and you're going to be at an amazing buffet. Of course, you can't eat all of it. You can go take a look at it all. You can smell it all. You can observe it all, appreciate it all, but not everything there is gonna be able to fit inside of you. <laughs> this is how I view self-improvement content. I can read books on law of attraction, Buddhism, self-improvement and business, self-improvement and habits, all different types and they're all around the same sphere of bettering myself as a person and increasing my personal knowledge but sometimes like i said it can be overwhelming because you could read a book on buddhism that really resonated with you and think oh my gosh this is my new way of life like what am i supposed to do about it or you can read a book like the miracle morning and say oh my gosh i really want to get up at five this has inspired me to get up at get up at five, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to X, Y, Z first thing when I wake up. So I want to challenge you now to think of self-improvement now as a buffet. Each time you watch Harry Potter, I bet you notice something a little bit different. Maybe you take more observation to what someone's wearing, or maybe you see a hidden gem in the movie, or something all of a sudden clicks that never clicked before. It's the same thing when you reread content like self-improvement. Whatever you're needing to see in that moment will come to you. So let's say, for example, this is The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. I have re-listened to this book many, many times, and each time I listen to it, I notice something a little bit different or I become inspired about something. If you guys didn't know, The Secret is a book all about law of attraction and positive thinking. It inspires you that what you think and you feel and you desire, you're able to attract with your mind through positive thoughts and visualizations, etc. Oftentimes when I'm listening to this book, or for example, the last time that I listened to it, I can identify limiting beliefs that are happening in my mind because Rhonda explains them and gives many different examples. This is why absorbing self-improvement content can also be seen as a buffet. Not everything might look good to you at one time, but perhaps it's just what you need on a different day. So this is why I encourage you to keep up with this journey, but don't feel overwhelmed about the fact that you can't take in everything. Now the first book I wanna share with you is The Miracle Morning. And this one is a very popular book. It's about waking up early and getting an amazing start to your day to allow positivity to flow through the entire day. For me, I can't commit to XYZ in the morning like I just mentioned. My morning routine looks a lot different and I actually have a video on that which I will link down below if you guys haven't seen it yet. And that's still my morning routine. But just to be completely honest with you guys, I don't meditate every day, but I always make sure that I journal every day because that's what works for me. I also have other rules in place, like for example, I drink a liter and a half of water in the morning before I consume anything else, and that includes coffee. So by reading a book like The Miracle Morning, I can get inspired about a morning routine and starting my day early, getting myself ready for success, but I don't have to feel like I have to do X, Y, Z that the author states in that book. I can take what I want from it and add to it with what I've learned and what I know about myself. 
to create myself the most positive morning routine. And another self-improvement book, more on the topic of history philosophy that I wanna share with you is The Daily Stoic. This book is really amazing because it grants you the opportunity to ponder and wonder on different words from philosophers. And I really enjoyed this book because it allowed me to do a lot of reflection on my life, which I then in turn pulled specific quotes that I enjoyed from this book and decided to journal on them. I may not be able to live my life through every single quote. I may not be able to have the time to ponder on every single quote at this time, but I can always revisit it, always journal on it, and always improve myself when I'm feeling I need a little bit more focus or a little bit more reflection or a little bit more wondering on the greater picture of this thing called life. Next self-improvement book I want to share on the concept of love and relationships is the five love languages with the self-improvement journey it is all about ourselves and how we can better ourselves as a person but with a book like the five love languages you're learning about how to best treat others how to treat people that you are in relationships with how to better understand the people you surround yourself with in your life and I found this book to be incredibly beneficial and because this book was so beneficial to me and I feel like it allowed revelation to happen in my mind I began to open up to friends about this book ask them if they'd read it I even posted on Instagram and asked you guys if you'd read it and which love language you were and allowed for many open conversations I wouldn't normally have had but because I had an interest sparked from this book and I had made revelations in my mind the next step then is to communicate when you communicate your ideas you're exercising your confidence your knowledge and learning more about yourself and in turn again like I mentioned other people and that is something that's so very important in the self-improvement journey the next book I want to share with you is one of my all-time favorites you are a badass I have read this book many many times but I often revisit it on Blinkist because I can consume it while I'm getting ready in the morning or like I said by the time that I'm done eating breakfast the one concept that I really pulled from this book especially the first time that I read it was the concept of the big snooze. Have you been sleeping your way through life? Do you have a big audacious dream or goal that you're not facing, that you're not giving a chance because you are living in fear or living in limiting beliefs? I truly believe this book can turn things around for you. And I know myself that I don't know if I could have made the leap all the way to Roma if I hadn't have read You Are a Badass because it gave me the inspiration I needed to make big leaps and take chances and allow myself to be rewarded by the universe. And each time I reread or listen to You Are a Badass, I always learn something new about myself. In this way, it goes along with what I said about the self-improvement journey. It is a journey. You're never going to read one book and that's it. You understand everything. You know all the concepts because through this journey called life, the different experiences we face, then in turn we can resonate better with all of these different authors, beautiful minds out there. That is all right out there in front of us to consume, to allow ourselves to grow and evolve into our best selves. And lastly, I want to share the book, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. This will encompass the four previous books I already mentioned. If you pull something out of that book, whether it's journaling every day, whether it's waking up at 5 a.m. or pondering on quotes of philosophy. If it's something you know would benefit your day, benefit your morning routine, create a habit out of it. Don't feel like you have to choose everything, but choose what you can fit on your plate at the buffet. Maybe it's a side of meditation, a main of journaling, maybe it is another side of inspirational quotes to ponder on. Whatever resonates with you, take that from the buffet of self-improvement and incorporate it into your life. Charles Duhigg's The Power of Habit talks about how it takes roughly about 21 days to form a habit. And I can use myself as an example. Journaling has increased my quality of life immensely and it has improved my relationship with myself immensely. Of course, I didn't pop out of the womb and started journaling every day. It's something that I've done in my adult years so far. All you have to do is start now. That is the key to taking in these concepts of self-improvement. Look at it like the buffet of life. Take a simple idea you like and turn it into a daily habit. And I definitely recommend this book by Charles Duhigg because it talks about all different habits in our life, negative and positive. If you're somebody out there who, say for example, smokes and it's something that you really want to quit, you really want to quit smoking before 2019 happens or you want it to be your New Year's resolution, learn and understand how habits work by just simply reading this book listening to the blinks or reading the blinks and then you will have the knowledge to transform your life we're truly blessed to have so many inspirational minds put out all of their creative work for us 
each and every single day and that there are applications out there like Blinkist that offer this type of knowledge to be consumed by us so quickly. So I highly encourage you guys to take advantage of the free seven day trial from our friends over at Blinkist and start consuming some content in the time that it takes you to eat breakfast. I'd love to know if you've read or listened to any of the titles I mentioned in this book and I'd also love to know how they changed your life in some way. Have an amazing day guys. Keep going along on that self-improvement journey and keep in mind it's not always about taking the entire buffet but it's filling your plate about what works best for you.